Patty Elvish 51 doing Let's Play Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards. Alright, in the last part, we took care of Magman, the boss of Neo Star. In this part, we're going to my favorite star of all, Shiver Star. Ooh, I like the wintry theme. Go! Alrighty, so in this first level, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna go over this way. Go, guys, on the way. Don't need these guys, don't need these guys, don't need the Articunos. We do want, though, we want to get both of these fire guys. Make them into the double fire power, which I like to call the Moltres attack. Because it makes you look like a flaming bird of death! Ah! Work through everything. Well, almost everything. So you just stop dead in your tracks. Okay, just keep on going this way. Uh, little, little bit of a fact here. Um, if you slide on the snow, you won't go as far. Not that that really matters. You shouldn't be using the slides as a main form of attack anyway. But, just so you guys know. Okay. There's another opportunity to get the fire there if you didn't get it earlier for whatever reason. And uh, oh yeah, watch out for those uh, birds too. They might die bomb you at any point. So yeah, just keep on going to the right this way. All right, next part, please. Okay, gotta climb up this mountain now. Actually, while I'm doing all this climbing, I actually have a question for you guys. Um, I'm interested in. Not sure if any of you guys know what these 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 bleh, bleh. Not sure if you guys know what these are, but I'm interested in visual novels, which is essentially, um, it's kind of like a choose-your-own-adventure sort of game. Um, lots of reading, lots of nonsense like that. Um, I was wondering if you guys would be interested in seeing an LP of one. Um, not a strict LP exactly, I wouldn't be just playing the game by myself, I'd probably have a little more production value than that. But I was just wondering if you guys would be interested in, I don't know, reading along with me, that sort of thing. I don't know, just something to think of for the future. Alright, now this is uh, reminiscent of the waterfall level, but this time we're inside a boss line on the snows. We're riding on snow! And there's actually a crystal shard up on top of one of the. Ooh, on top of one of these mount, mounds of snow. I think it's this one coming up, maybe, in a second. Yep, there it is. It's the first crystal shard on top of there. We can always get ourselves cake. Woo! Run the snow globe! <laughs> I almost said run the snow globe. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm also wrecking into a sudden accent. I don't know why I've been doing that. I've been doing that all day. I don't understand why. It's like eight. It's, wow! It's not even in the. Uh, <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna say it's like nine in the morning, and um, that's usually when I go to bed. Uh, let's see here. I want to make sure I don't go through that door if I can kill him. There we go. Okay. What we needed this firepower for was this bit up here, actually. Um, you melt the ice with fire. They get our second crystal shine. Right next to each other, pretty much. Alright, moving on to this next room. We got a bunch of... We actually don't need this firepower anymore. A uh, bunch of interesting... Frozen glass things. Frozen... I can't talk! These are ice! These are ice. This is ice. They're all ice. Okay, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to head over this way. Let's see if I can find, uh... Well, maybe not. I think we're gonna want to go down through here. This one. We get sell some ice cream under this frigid ice cream. Go through here. You can get a bunch of um, stars and whatnot. Uh, but what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna want to go up through the crack up there again. Hopefully not get hit by that guy. Okay. Jump up this way. Ouch! Not get hit by the snowman. Come on, dude. Back up. Back off me! Back off me! Alright, then what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, until we get here. Let's kill that guy first. Uh, we're gonna get down here, watch out- Ah, watch out for the Gordo! We're gonna go under here, through this pathway. And what we're gonna find on the other side is m not only more ice cream and meat, but also some of these guys. I'm just gonna get this power because I think it's cool. Not because it's very good, because it's really not that good at all. But I just like it anyway. You get some ice skates! Help us move around a little bit. Unfortunately, not that good underwater, but I don't really care. Skate in, skate in! I love ice skating! Ooh, Gordo, watch out! Okay, then we want to actually go through this right area here. Do a little bit of exploring. A little bit of exploring. Up for these jellies. Hey, you can't get me. The ice is froze. Aha. Uh -huh. To our last crystal shard. And that's all of them for this area. And there's something down here too. I think that's food. I'm not sure what food that is. Probably tomato or something. 
Then we're gonna move this way. Keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Floating on up, floating on up, floating on up. Ouch, Gordo! Why do you do this to me? Okay, and actually, while you're riding the ice skates, freaking A! While you're riding the ice skates, um, that's not normally an attack until you do like a jumpy move. But, whatever. Ah, freaking! Alright, that's it! That's it. I don't even care. Hoya! I really like this move because it looks fancy. It's not really all that fancy. Oh, right now. I believe we have one more area until the end of this level. Get rid of that power up right there. I'm gonna let you guys know ahead of time. I think you're gonna need the electric and needle power for the next level. Um, so let's see if we can find any of that in here. I don't exactly remember. Oh, this part also has uh, jerks that push boulders. Uh, there's a lot of that in this world. It's kind of obnoxious, especially when you die. But okay, take that. Throw your rocks at me, Dave. I will use you as a projectile against your own kind. Oh, yeah. How does it feel to fight your own people? Woo! And yes, actually helps you. Oh, jeez. I helped you slide. Believe it or not, it's like a mystery. Okay, more guys, more guys. Oh no, another boulder. Ugh. You can't fool me. You just can't. It's against the rules. Ow. You can't hit me though. Cake and guy and blocks and these guys. These guys are obnoxious. I remember when I was a lot younger playing this game, these guys would always get me. Because I'm like, oh, they're they're not gonna jump for that long, right? And then when I go for the start, they're like, oh, they're gonna eat you. None of that nonsense. No, not the gonna run away. Alrighty, now we're in this area again. We're gonna want to get ourselves the card and move right on to the next level. Okay, and like I said, in the second level here, uh, we're gonna be going up in the sky and the clouds is gonna be beautiful. Look at look at all these crystal shards! Why can't we just be done with the game now? Now let's collect nonsense. I actually really like this song too. I'm gonna just let's listen to it for a second while I, you know, do all this stuff, all this boring stuff. So awesome! I like how it's like a jazzy, techno-y kind of kind of song in the middle of all this fluffy cloudiness. Okay, can I go this way. Come here, Branto Bert. Let me use you as a weapon. All right, so let's see. What we're gonna want is we're gonna want the spike and electric power. Let's see if we can find stuff like that. I'm sure we can. Just look hard enough. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -bum -bum bombs! I don't want bombs. Kick that. Kick it away. Get away from me! There's that witch again, and she was in the last part, uh, the last part of the last level too. I don't know what her purpose is. She's just kind of there. If anyone has any idea, please let me know. As much as I seem like an authority on all things Kirby 64, I, uh, it's one of the things that fails me. Okay, so we just drop down here, and here is our first crystal shard. The area. Just quickly make our way back up here. And I keep jumping along along these cloudy clouds. All those clouds covered with stars. Uh, this much right here too, um, with the what looks like particles are pushing up. Uh, it will slow your descent, and as soon as you puff up, it'll push you up a ways. Oh, almost hit that guy. But yeah, that'll help you along the way if you end up falling on accident. I love these guys. So they're not that good for anything, but whatever, who cares? Come on, go in the go in the door. More crystal shards! Why can't we just use all these? It's not fair. Alright, let's see what's over here. Is there anything over here? Anything over here? Oh, good. Excuse me. Sorry about that yawn, guys. Alrighty. We bounced up this way. Uh, this part right here, we actually pick which direction we can go. We just hit a, um, where the face is pointing. Um, I believe we're gonna want to go to the northwest. Pretty sure. Uh, if you want to get just continue through this part, just go straight up. Because, um, that's the deal. I'm just gonna go all these ways just to see what's all these ways. I'm pretty sure most of it's just like enemies and stars and stuff, so. Well, it may not be that exciting, you know, it's, it's for completion's sake and exploring and all that nonsense. Okay. 
Oddly enough, we actually go in the shape of a star. Oh man, can you believe it in Kirby? Ooh. All right, so the last spot we're gonna go is actually this way, which is where we're gonna be our crystal shard. And this is crystal shard number two. So we wanna go straight up into the heavens. Woohoo! There's one more star too to get an extra life. Maybe there's one over here. Maybe, maybe, nope. I don't think so. Get down this way. Watch out for those guys falling from the ceiling too. They can surprise you sometimes if you're not paying attention. Okay, let's see. I haven't seen a single electric or anything in this level yet. I kind of. Oh no 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 no! no! Oh jeez, that was close. That was very close. Oops. I hate these guys. Ugh! Pain in my butt. Oh good lord! Again. All right. So I learned my lesson. <laughs> All right, there's our spike. I'm just gonna find our electricity. Come on, where could you be, electricity? I need you now. Die. Woo! Actually, now that I think about it, this, power is actually really good for uh, traveling through these parts because uh, when you have your spikes out, those things from the ceiling can't get you. So that helps a considerable amount. And I think in the next area we're gonna be finding our electricity here. So I hope so. Ah, right, uh, now they're coming from the floor too. Oh man! Uh! You just keep jumping around with your spikes. Not that big a deal. Since you have like super armor, pretty much. Okay. Oh, there's that maw trying to be tricky again. Nope. I'm pretty sure his name is Maw. It's like. One of the few Kirby enemy names I can actually remember. Mao. Let's see here. Oh, careful. It's like some Ninja Gaiden stuff going on now, oh man. Nothing but one platform and enemies everywhere. Yeah, there he is, like just right there. Come over here. Come over here. No, what? No, why, 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 no. Why would you do that? All right, I'm gonna leave and come back and see if you got your crap straightened out here, because that's that was just disgraceful. That was just disappointingly painful to watch. All right, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. do your little. All right, fine. So we're actually gonna do it the other way. Freaking hey, pain in my butt. If it's not one thing, it's another with these stupid enemies. Jeez. All right, now then back to where I was. I better not die. That would be really, really disappointing and really, really obnoxious. I don't think so, Ma. I do not think so. Nope. Nope. I'm privy to your foolish games. Okay, let's see. So we actually don't need this power until we get to the mini boss, but you know. That just kind of makes everything else a little bit harder to handle since this power kind of sucks, but whatever. Gotta do the best I can with what I have. Alrighty, so careful now, careful now. Okay, I can just break that now. Kill! Kill! Ugh! I'm the lightning rod. Look at me. Look at me dance. Oh, good lord. Don't die, Kirby. Don't die. All right, crystal shot. Go run. Oh my god. Okay, and I guess that was the end of the level. Awesome. Good thing I didn't die. That would have been really embarrassing. Again. For like the third time. Probably should have got the tomato, but whatever. Who cares? Alrighty, next level. Moving on to a mall, actually. I actually like this level a lot, too. Um. I don't know. I just think it's really cool that they have a shopping mall in this game. Even though, I, I guess technically it's not really a shopping mall since no one really goes here, but you know, whatever. We got conveyor belts and everything. I hope I don't get hit. I hope I don't get hit. Uh, jump over you. Uh, bomb guy. What do you know? I go get myself hit like an idiot. Oh, I can't believe I've died. I cannot believe I've died this many times in this stupid game. I I swear to God, if I'm just playing this game by myself, like in a dark room, alone, forever and ever, amen, then I would be doing incredible with this game. But it's just every time I turn on this game, something happens like that, and I'm like, well, you know, I look embarrassing because I died in a Kirby game. <laughs> Speaking of which, um, I don't know if I mentioned this yet or not, but uh, my brother, who is like, he's got this weird thing. Where he's really good at difficult video games, or relatively complicated, kind of, you know, that sort of video game. But he sucks at the really simple ones. It doesn't make any sense. It's like reverse, um, 
Psychology. There's the first shard, by the way. Um, but it's really weird. Like, he was telling me the other day, he beat his first Kirby game. Uh, granted, it was the Kirby's Dreamland for the Game Boy, which personally I feel is the simplest and easiest one to play, but it's just me. But he was going on, he's like, yeah, yeah, I beat Kirby. Um, yeah, you know, I did all that stuff. Uh, he's, he's going on, too, about how he likes Arkham City and, like, Assassin's Creed and all those games, like, aren't exactly particularly easy. But, yeah, I just, I, I just thought it was funny as, like, a reverse kind of psychology strategy game nonsense thing going on. Okay, let's make our way through here, trying to get eaten by frogs or shot by fish. There comes my southern side of me again. You know, it's weird, I don't even live in the south, and sometimes I just get these accent that just kicks right in for no reason. It's kind of like magic, except a little, a little, a little less so. Not so much magic, as it's just kind of weird. But whatever. Alright, moving on now. I love these little elevators too, how they're like propelled by the key turning underneath on the bottom of them. Right, no, 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 uh, swamp there. Swamp eye. I don't know what to call it. Swamp eye the sailor block. Toot toot. Nope. I don't think so. Alright, now we just gotta dodge this cannon fire, cannon fire, cannon fire everywhere. Keep moving now. Mini boss time! We're gonna kill one of these giant spider things, which is really easy if you have this power. <laughs> Great, it's not really all that hard yet anyway, but there's a second crystal shard now. Moving on, moving on. Alright, what we're gonna do here is Adeline's gonna paint some things on the window. Those, that's, uh, that's grapes, that's cherries, and I'm pretty sure that's. Um. Uh. I think it's a coconut, so we're gonna go with coconut. So what we're gonna want to do is, in this room, we're gonna have to correspond to whatever color the fruit was in order. So first was grapes, so we're gonna push down purple, even though you know grapes aren't usually purple. Uh, red for cherries, and I believe brown for coconut. And yes, okay, okay. Uh, thank God I was right. I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't want to do this whole like level over just because of that stupid. I don't know what color picture you're drawing there, pal. All right, so now we're moving up to this room with a bunch of cactus monsters. Oh my God, and cheeky men. You know about that? Just keep running, just keep running. Oh, I guess if you just keep running through this room, they don't hit you. Whatever. Okay, now this part you actually gotta watch out because these bookshelves fall over and kill you instantly, just like in that one level with the pillars. So let's see how many times I die. If any, hopefully not. Come on, fall down. There you go. Oh, geez, this one's got a gordo. I'm just gonna fly over this last one. I don't even care. Oh, run on top of an enemy. Awesome. And now we're in the aquarium section, yay! I remember when I was a kid and I loved going in the aquarium section and being like, look at all the fish. There's crabs in here and frogs for whatever. Little tiny fish. Bigger fish. Who died in a single explosion? Not very good fish then. Okay, just keep going this way. And now we're to the hardware section. This one's for all the dads out there who enjoy playing some Kirby. Okay, watch out for these electric guys here. Get yourself some cake. Get some cake! Cake, cake, cake! Oh, careful, Kirby, don't fall down now. Jump in, jump in, watch out for the electric guys, oh man! Oh, this one there, I didn't even see. Oh well. Go in. And now we're in the appliance section! Electronics and all that nonsense. Okay, watch out for those guys. Just a lot of food in here, really. Oh, no, look at these plugging me, guys. They're really cool. Other than that, not really much else. Okay, now this room here, you gotta watch out for all these cannons that'll be shooting at you. They don't shoot through these, uh, these walls here. So if you just plan your jumps accordingly and wait for the... Ow. Unlike what I just did. But if you just... Also, if you jump up, they, uh, kind of follow your movement too. So that might help you out a little bit. This room's also full of food, so if you get in a couple times, it's not really that big a deal. But just be careful anyway. Jump up around. Blocks in the way. Get out of the way. You know, I probably could've saved time. Here. Cake! I don't even care. Alrighty. Let's get ourselves. I guess we're getting the red star. Or we're not getting anything. Way to go, Kirby! Because that wasn't my fault at all. Alrighty. This next part here, we have ourselves the industrialization area. Oh, man. Alright. Well, we're gonna need. We're actually gonna need two different powers for this level. We need the rock and spike, and we need the boomerang and electric. Uh, which I'm assuming I'm gonna be able to find in all of the uh, areas here. Hopefully, so I don't have to do much searching. So let's see here. 
Come over here, because there's always a secret over in the corner. Right? Right. Food. Yay, good thing I don't need it. I'm gonna jump down here. Whee! This ladder. I actually really like this song too. It sounds really epic for a Kirby game, in my opinion. So we're gonna need a rock and spike power. Oh, jeez. Right. Watch out for these pointless missiles. Let's see here. That's that's fire. I don't need that. Watch out for these cannon shooting cannonballs in the direction that you're going here. That's where we're gonna do the rock and spike power, by the way. Right over where those orange and uh, brown blocks are. Just so you guys uh, are aware. Okay, grab yourself some more stars here. More stars for everybody. Over this way. Yeah, we need rocket spike. Not until, I don't exactly remember where to get that. I know there's a. I'm pretty sure there's a rock down here. Yeah, there's axe. Um, spike though. I'm not entirely sure. I might have to go back. Possibly. Oh, except I can't because I'm D D. Oh well. Worst case scenario is I'll just have to go back and get it in a uh, separate recording or whatever. Alright, now what you want to do is you want to punch out those uh, doors right there. Watch out for the hammer gods. Those hammer gods will kill you in one hit, and it sucks when that happens. And they can vary about switching backwards, so everything is against you in this room. Pretty much. Oh god. And they can vary about slowly and slowly gets faster and faster. So you gotta watch out for that. Oh god! Don't squish me now. Don't squish me now! Stop! Ugh! Why do I keep running into things? Day day day! Oh look, some ice cream and not a hammer of death. Oh look, there's a hammer of death. Woo! Go! Kill! Run! Oh my god! Why? Come on now, you can do it. Hammer of death, come on! Oh god, run away! Oh my god! I do all of that now. Whew! Just right on in there. Okay. This room is really weird to me, because it looks like they're trying to clone things. And that just reminds me of Pokemon, I'm sorry, but that's like a hippo balloon hybrid mix thing. That's some kind of bird with Bronto Burt wings or fins, it looks like. I don't know. I can't tell what's going on there. Just keep pulling on this way. Very slowly. And that's just some fan. I don't know what that, that's all about. Hold on this way. Alright, so I guess what we're gonna need now is actually, uh, we're gonna need the boomerang and the, uh, electric power. So I guess I'm just gonna take this, get rid of my rocket ability. Like I said, worst case scenario is I'll just have to go back and, uh, do that part again and just show you guys how I did it off, uh, the commentary. But, ow. Freaking A. I really start needing to pay more attention. The boomerang guy. I don't need you. I need electric guy. Please tell me that they at least were courteous enough to include the enemies that I need to use for this level. That would be great. Make it one of the few levels in the game where they don't do that. Look, it's a little stink. It's a little black cat. It reminds me of one of my friend's black cats who is obese. Just kidding. She's not obese. She's just very lazy and kind of big. This way, and I don't even know what that's supposed to be back there. It looks like a prototype for the witch, so maybe the witch is supposed to be like Mewtwo. I don't know. I don't get it. Okay, here's the mini boss room. Um, I don't see any electric here, but maybe I'll have to come back to the room. Like I, I don't know. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks when uh, the powers that you need are ouch are lava, and it sucks when your face is a boomerang. You can't see sh anything. Come on, hit twice, hit twice, oh yeah! Hit him again, hit him again! Crap. Come on now. Hit him! Yeah, broke his face! Broke his face! Ugh. Yeah, this is where the second shard would be. Right up there. Okay, that's, oh, the, oh yeah, there he is, right there. Alright, cool. So there's electricity for you. Now we're gonna be going back in this room and getting that crystal shard. 
the easy way now that there's no boss. Oh, wait a minute, is the Crystal Shard gone? Are you freaking kidding me? No way. Oh, this level's stupid. What a pain in the butt. Oh, you've got it. Oh, God. You've got to be kidding me right now. Alright, so we just gotta make it through this room here. Watch out for these squishy wall, fall, ceiling things. Pain in the butt. Right, just run quickly. Keep safe in these spaces here that they so generously give us. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to make any progress at all in this place. But you know, if that was their point, in th if that was their intentional point, which I don't think that was, then I feel like that would be, you know, something to consider. Okay, well, anyway, just keep running this way. Running up here. Even if it doesn't look like there's a space there, there's a space there. So, next up, we gotta get through this area here. And I'm actually gonna wait right here because this last part's kinda tricky. Run, Kirby, run! Quickly so you don't die! Yeah, awesome! And then we got one more obstacle here. See if I can make it. Oh, God, yes. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna chance it. No freaking way. Alright, now let's continue this way. Last room here. Pretty sure this is where the last crystal shard is. Let's see if I can even get this one, since the first two were complete failures, because this level sucks. In retrospect, this level sucks! Can't believe I'm gonna be saying that. Oh, I should've got that. Oh, just kick there! Yay! Oh, f oh no! Stupid boomerang guy. Food! A quick up! Up, up, up! Oh, God! Nope, not today. Let's see, where's that crystal shard? Not here yet. Close, 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 I can feel it. Yeah, there it is, sweet, awesome. Now run, Kirby, run for your life. No, 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 Oh my god, you have got to be kidding me. I cannot believe how many times I've died. This is ridiculous. I can't even believe, I, ugh, I am speechless right now at my incompetence. I can't believe this. Cannot believe this. Like, seriously, I, I don't understand why I'm dying so much right now. It could be because it's like 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning, and I haven't been asleep in a while since yesterday. I think I slept from, like, I don't even know. Oh, did I already get the thing? Alright, cool. Awesome. At least that At least that stays. At least I don't have to get the stupid shard again. Oh, go up, 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 up! No, 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 no. Oh, freaking... Ridiculous, stupid, garbage, nonsense. I hate this. I, in retrospect, I... You know what? Actually, I don't hate this level. I hate this part right here. And here's the master robot guy. Stop throwing lightning at me! Pain in my ass. Alright, next part. Finally got to end. Holy crap. That was ridiculous. And I didn't even heal myself. I got the stupid guy. Alright, so I'm gonna off-screen those other two uh, shards real quick. So I'll be right back, guys. Alright, now that that grueling part of our adventure is over, uh, we've collected all the crystal shards in Shiver Star. And, uh, in the next part, we're gonna be taking on the boss. Alright, till next time, guys, Push 51, peace out.